we don't mm. have to wait in the line. No. But, but we need to go into the building. Yeah, because we're going for the other <laughs> ride. All right, Jason, ready? All right, you're coming in one more ride, and then you're going to no, then you're gonna eat. Ready? After this ride, you're gonna eat. All right, this way. This ride are we going to after this ride? We're gonna take an eating break. Oh, you just hit me. You just hit me, mommy. Well, Ryan, you're walking this way in people. We want to go in the boat ride. Yeah, so to get into the building, you do have to wait in this line. But it says it's for soaring. It's just the entire land. Okay. Okay. The entire building, you have to wait in this line just so that we can handle the amount of people in there. But it is a pretty fluid line. It hasn't really stopped moving. Why do we have to wait in this line? Oh my gosh, I'm not going to It's just to get into the building. Once we're in the building. <laughs> Ryan, you knew we had to wait on nine. The line for the ride isn't that long. It's just to get into the building, which is... Stop crying. And after this, we're gonna eat lunch. Yeah, I'm gonna get milk in the, this building sells milk for you and Jason, and you're gonna have to hold it because I have to hold Jason. We're gonna eat and drink after this ride. I know, they need better signage. Maybe something that doesn't just say soaring on it.
Oh, uh, that's going to be difficult, but I guess so. What? Yes. Ready, Jason? It's not that long. What? It's not long. Here. Look at that. Mine, it's not. There's only one boat. There's more than one boat. And there's only two boats. Mine, the line is moving. The line is moving. It's fine. No, stop. Anybody that's not moving. It's not a long way. See, it's fine. Stop complaining. Stop touching everything. That would be a big problem. Walk straight. Stop complaining. in front of us have to move first. What is your problem? Well, then we should go leave. Then we should leave. Then you have to learn how to wait on the line. It's really harder with carrying Jason. It's also these stupid people. They don't move. See, it's going to start moving. That guy was just standing there not doing anything. Ryan, back here. Until we move. Okay, we're gonna start moving again.
can't go. Stop leaning at me. Yeah. Uh, we're almost there. Do you see we're almost there? No, I do not think anything. Well, we're almost there. After this, we're up to the boat. Do 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 We're gonna take a lunch break. We're gonna go. I right, don't steal the glasses. Then we're gonna go on um either the imagination ride or the boat ride. Hey, the Donald Duck one. Oh, look, we get to go. See, we're very close now. Mm -hmm. I'm about to punch you. Get your hands clean under that. We're almost there. Those people, look, those people are going to get in a boat. Then they're going to hit more people. See, they're going to already start moving. They're not even moving. They're just talking. Ryan, do you want to be punched? No. Then you need to stop. I'm going to move up again.
there, Jason. You ready? We're about to go on a boat in a minute. Was that that long, Ryan? That was enough. What? Please gather all your personal belongings. Lower your head and watch your step as you board the boat. Please lower your head and watch your step. Lower. For your safety, remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat at all times. Parents, please supervise your children and refrain from flash photography or using video lights until we reach the greenhouses. Thank you. Now, sit back, relax, and enjoy living with the land. Por su seguridad, permanezca sentado con sus manos y brazos, pies y piernas dentro del barco. Y cuida los pequeñitos. A manera de recordatorio, no tomar foto con flash y luz de video antes de llegar a Ninaldero. To a voyage of discovery and awareness of the richness, the diversity, the often surprising nature of living with the land. Our journey begins as dramatic and sudden changes are sweeping over the land. The approaching storm may seem violent and destructive to us, but to nature, it's a new beginning in the cycle of life. extracting precious nutrients and minerals. These elements, when combined with sunlight, create the diverse living systems of our planet. Those living systems is the rainforest, home to the most amazing concentration of life on our planet. These dense and beautiful forests cover only a tiny portion of the Earth's surface, but they contain more than half of its plant and animal species. Rainforests are also extremely rich and productive living systems, providing us with oxygen, food, medicines, and other elements essential to our lives. In the desert, nature has created a very different, but no less beautiful, living system. And while this arid landscape may seem lifeless, it is very much alive. The plants and animals that have learned to survive in these harsh conditions make use of what little water they can find and avoid the scorching rays of the relentless sun.
Of all the forces at work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects. The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use and sometimes overuse of the land. In our search for more efficient ways to grow food, we often fail to realize the impact of our methods. Today, we're learning to live with the land, discovering better ways to grow food that will assure both human and environmental well-being. Welcome to our living laboratories, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of hey, these, like Pick papaya, me. bananas, me? cacao, coffee and rice, are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants yeah, one that have been an important looks weird. source one of more. nutrition for people yeah, living in the tropics. Many are hey, rich in vitamins hey. and minerals, while hey. others are well adapted no, to no. growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lily, thrive <laughs> in wet, swampy areas and waterways. All parts of this plant, even the flower petals, are edible. <laughs> the starchy root no, of the plant No, you can't have it, because you found my phone in the water here, you're in trouble. Oh, look. Let me look. One day, many of these lesser-known tropical plants look. may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides look. of the boat. Do you see this? More than 28 A million tons tree. of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world. <laughs> you want this? Look, look. This? Yes, there's trees. Banana trees. Look, now you want to see fish? There's fish in here. And the fish are on the When we mention farming, you probably don't think of fish. But fish farming, or aquaculture, 
accounts for nearly half of all the seafood consumed globally. Tilapia, bass, and catfish, like the ones you see here, are three of the more popular crops raised by fish farmers. The sustainable system we're using here recycles the water in the tanks. As a result, we're able to save millions of gallons each year. As soon as we get to your stroller, you're going to eat lunch. Our small fish farm produces nearly 5,000 pounds of fish each year to serve in restaurants around Walt Disney World. Innovations like this one can play an important role in our efforts to produce bountiful harvests and still protect natural resources. See that this is While there are more than 50,000 edible plant species in the world, most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. The common grains growing here. Wheat, Corn. maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world. These plants are definitely on their Healthy. way up. Innovative growing techniques like these increase yields while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and do, pesticides. Do, do. Another innovation at work here is our integrated nope. pest management program. By populating our greenhouses with beneficial insects that prey on harmful pests like aphids and flies, we are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. We're growing these crops using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely controls and recycles yeah, water right and nutrients. Here. With it, we can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year in this one small area. I know, Jason, you're hungry and tired. If you're happy and you know what's up, your hand. <laughs> And you're happy and you know it got your hand. Mommy, why is the wife going yeah, on after this one? It. We're taking a break. For, we're going to go walk around and eat. Well, what Jason's going to eat right now. And we have to find somewhere what to sit. Why is the wife going on after we eat? I told you, either Journey to Imagination or the Donald Duck what boat. Is Journey to Imagination? Some of our you best ideas have been car. inspired by nature. See a dragon. Like these fruit and vegetable what? trees. By growing these growing plants vertically, we can increase yields well, and better to... control diseases. Mm -hmm. These crops taste as good as they look. In it's fact, an we serve more than pumpkin. 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses in Pumpkins. restaurants here at the land every year. See the pumpkin? That one looks like Mickey. Alright, good up, Jason. We're almost done. Oh, pumpkin. Like pickles. Like mommy pickles. Cucumbers. The future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. That saves water and increases production. The aquaponics system on your left combines hydroponics with aquaculture. 
The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plants, and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less. In our lab, Epcot scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. The goal of these efforts is to produce higher yielding and better quality plants. <laughs> you want to do that? Blum, 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 blum. No, you can exit the boat. What are you doing? No, get out. Get up. Get up. These greenhouses represent just a fraction of the work being done worldwide to produce bountiful harvests for our growing population. Scientists, farmers, and even backyard gardeners are doing their part to improve the quantity and quality of foods that we all rely upon. Together, we can continue to find more ways to 